Please pay attention to the following before unpacking. If the package is intact, open the outer packaging. Cut four straps and remove the lid. Remove the filled foam and outer carton. Use a utility knife to cut the film and remove the four fitting boxes around the instrument. The accessories included in the horizontal shelves box are horizontal shelves. The accessories included in the inner cover component box are inner cover component, PU tube, silicone tube and wing nuts. The accessories contained in the reservoir accessories box are water tray, user manual, packaging list and certificates, warranty card, easy operation guide, clamp, high efficiency filter assembly, fast connection peg, rubber plug, pepper filter, stacking racks, power cord, installation tools. The accessories included in the vertical shelf accessories box are vertical shelf, hanging rod, ejector rod. Before removing the incubator from the board, you will need to remove the four fixing units at the bottom of the incubator. Use an Allen key to remove the screws from the front of the incubator and remove the fixing units. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws on the back of the incubator. After removing the four fixing units, the incubator can be lifted. Power switch, used to turn on or off the instrument. USB port, used to export data and upgrade software. Communication port, a J45 network port. Reserved port, reserved for analog signal output. Carbon dioxide inlet, used for carbon dioxide gas source intake. Carbon dioxide detection port, used for carbon dioxide sampling within the incubator. Cooling fan, used for heat dissipation. Power socket, for connecting to the power cord. Detection port, access for lead wire for access testing equipment. Please pay attention to the following before installation. Install the rubber plug in the upper left corner of the tank. Connect one end of the silicone tube to the detection port in the incubator. Make the inner cover component pass through the two mounting posts above. When installing, make sure that the airway direction faces the inside and lock it with wing nuts. Connect the other end of the silicone tube to the airway. Install the HEPA filter. Adjust the vertical shelves to the square opening up, tilt them to fit into the incubator, and then adjust them to a vertical position. Install the ejector rods between the two vertical shelves. The three ejector rods need to be installed on the lower back, the upper back, and the upper front of the tank. Mount the hanging rod on the vertical shelf to support the horizontal shelf. The spacing of the hanging rod can be adjusted as required.
Install horizontal shelves on hanging rods. Center the water tray on the bottom of the incubator. Install the high efficiency filter at the code to detection port at the back of the incubator. Connect one end of poo tube to carbon dioxide gas source and secure with clamp. Connect the other end to the carbon dioxide air inlet at the back of instrument. Insert a power cable. Place the level on the horizontal shelves to check if the device is not level, adjust the foot support. After loosening the top fixing nuts, the height of the incubator can be reduced by rotating the nut counterclockwise or increased by rotating the nut clockwise. After adjusting the instrument level, retighten the fixing nuts. Please pay attention to the following before using. Turn on the switch to enter the main interface. On the upper left is the target set value, and the actual value of the temperature. On the middle is the target set value, and the actual value of the carbon dioxide concentration. At the bottom is relative humidity. The right area include keys of silence, sterilize and menu. Sterilization interface can be entered from the main interface or menu interface. Please operate according to the system instructions before sterilization. The menu interface includes the following functions. In the parameter setting interface, you can set the target temperature and the target carbon dioxide concentration. In the alarm setting interface, you can set the trigger alarm value of temperature, carbon dioxide concentration, humidity and the countdown have a filter replacement. In the general interface, you can set screen brightness, system language, silence duration, system time, and password. After the password is enabled, the password need to be input to enter the parameter setting and alarm setting pages, and so on to prevent the misoperation. In the trend interface, you can view the curve of temperature, carbon dioxide concentration and humidity, or export the data to a USB. In the alarm log interface, you can check or export alarm log. In the event interface, you can check or export operation log. The admin interface can be only used for a WDR to sales staff or authorized personnel. For more details and operation, please refer to the user manual.